there's a few issues I want to resolve with the splitter. It's no big issues, but it's some improvement I, I, I think that we can do. The first improvement to do is uh, inside of that box wedge, the split action makes the uh, lug to go sideways. And then, as you can see, you will see, they are going on the sides of the splitter. So the first thing the lug touches is the top blade here. So it split the upper half and the bottom half. The bottom half is going next to this blade to split in two halves. This way, this way. And after that, further away, there's this one that is going to split again in two parts. This one is a center bevel blade, so it's being angled on both sides. This one, I don't have any choice to angle it on only this side, because on this way, the lug cannot go back on against this blade, so it's going that way. So when the lug is being split on this side, it tends to go this way and push against this part. This is the last part I did. Go inside. What you see on the left is the plate that will hold the uh, lug to stay remain on the splitter. And down below, what you see is the screen where the fans will fall down. And then you go up the chute. When the logs come out, they could not hang on the chute. So they are just going to follow this. They are not going to catch anywhere. When the logs come out, they should go straight. That's theory. In real life, when pushing the logs, it's not always going like this. So, what happens is, it looks like this. And next lug is going like this, and it gets tangled up. Worst case scenario is that you get some kind of slip up like this. It will push like this, and hopefully this one will not hang up there. And then this one, if I push like this, then you get some kind of a push against the sides of the chute. The chute is a 1-8 uh, steel sheet, so it could not withstand that kind of a push. So why is this happening? Actually the logs are quite long. This one is uh, 21 inches. Yeah, this one too, 21 and a half. But yeah, the chute is 26 inches wide. This is why I get this kind of phenomenon. What I'm going to do is to add some kind of a separation in between the left and the right side. Could be something like that. I have to make sure that the log will not catch at the beginning of the uh, separation. But logs are not likely to get sideways. If they try to do it, they should always follow anyways. So that's one modification I want to make. Here is another spot where I want to improve. That's where the cable come in and come out from the hinge point. In theory, it's a good system. Practically, it's not a good system because this cable's cable is always rubbing against the other. And as you can see, this cable is pretty much damaged.
I am trying to mark gray on gray. Might be better with yellow. Nice gap there. Not going to come back. Absolutely not. Well. At this point, this side, the winch side, this side is the, uh, the hook. So I do a wrap around like this. And what it does, you can't see at the bottom, the cable is damaging itself. The idea to make the, the wrap around is that even if there's a band, it will still always go through the center of the pivot, the pin. So keeping the same length, whatever the angle of the uh, jib current is, which relates to, it's not going to uh, pull the, um, the arm sideways or something like that. So I have to figure a way to go through that center and yet do not have any crossing like this. My idea is to get some kind of pulley on the sides that I could wrap around like this here so whatever the rotation is it will always have to go through that center so the travel of the cable is always the same, whatever the angle of the uh, jib, jib crane is. So I want to come from that 
what I'm, I'm thinking will work. So I'm going to have this end free, hook this uh, end arm. I'm going to clamp it down to uh, make sure it doesn't move. Okay, I go this way, this way, and this way. Okay. So I'm holding both ends of the wire. I stop from straight. It pulls like half inch, half inch is not too much. Actually, it can help me to bring back the uh, logs into the splitter. So that's how much loose I get, not too much. And if I go the other side, not too bad too, I'm close, really close. So this is a 3.8 bolt, I'll mix with a long nut, so it gets correct support and I will weld it about there. Now the only detail is to get it really straight like this while I'm welding. I'm going to keep in between just enough space to put the wire the wire in. Maybe like this. Okay. Those pulleys were on the uh, motor deck of the Bolens. The bearing were not so good, but actually they are not going to spin that much. It's actually sheet metal being formed into a shape of a pulley, with the bottom of the pulley being uh, pretty much flat. But the only thing is that the junction of the two cups is in the middle. I don't want the uh, cable to get stuck in that gap like here and then maybe pulling apart the cups I'm going to do a uh, weld bead
By using the splitter, I found that there was some issue with the log not falling back into the splitter at the bottom of the drawer. I thought first that they were hanging there, wasn't the case. I did add these uh, bars, the uh, square bars, and they are a little bit angled toward the splitter, just to make sure that they, they can fall down. But actually, the logs are against this, not this. And still yet, there was some logs hanging like this. I did wonder why, but actually, on the previous log, pushing like this, looks like it's going to do like this, but at the bottom of this, there's a lot of bark, uh, uh, finds all debris, uh, some pieces like that. And actually, the log is not sitting like this when it's being split. It's rather falling like this. So it should be pushed up to that point, but sometimes they may hang up a little bit like this. So what you get is like this. So that was what I was doing, just a little small move. It was like a quarter of an inch. So I did add a display. So what's about this plate? Nothing really special again, except that I did mean to have this plate to not fit exactly so there's some spring on it. So it should be pushing back the lugs back into the drawer. So some people may ask why not just add a piece of uh, steel or something like that. It's because I'm splitting 21 inches long logs. At this point, I'm already on the pusher and I have little play. So I have to keep some room to add new logs if they are a little bit longer than the 21. And yet, I can do this. So I have the full 24 inches. 